So we're gathered in the name of the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. And the grace and peace of our Lord Jesus Christ be with you all. And with your spirit. So good morning. Good morning, Father. So the um, uh, so let us uh, place ourselves uh, before the Lord now. Uh, so the um, the mass this morning has been offered for Sister Sister uh, Paul Paul Ann Munch. Uh, so uh, she's celebrating a birthday this month. So Sister Paul Ann uh, Munch, uh, Saint Joseph's sister at Carondelet, and uh, so we can also pray for uh, Bill Moore. He's um, uh, still hanging in there, so we pray for him as well. And let us uh, place ourselves before the Lord now and ask Him to listen to all our prayers and concerns today. You were sent to heal the contrite, Lord have mercy. Lord have mercy. You came to call sinners, Christ have mercy. Christ have mercy. You are seated at the right hand of the Father to intercede for us, Lord have mercy. Lord have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Glory to God in the highest, and on earth peace to people of good will. We praise you, we bless you, we adore you, we glorify you. We give you thanks for your great glory, Lord God, Heavenly King, O God, Almighty Father, Lord Jesus Christ, Only Begotten Son, Lord God, Lamb of God, Son of the Father, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. You take away the sins of the world, receive our prayer. You are seated at the right hand of the Father, have mercy on us. For you alone are the Holy One, you alone are the Lord. You alone are the Most High, O Jesus Christ, with the Holy Spirit, in the glory of God the Father. Amen. Amen. And let us pray. Almighty ever-living God, grant that we may always conform our will to yours and serve your majesty in sincerity of heart. And we make this prayer through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. A reading from the book of Isaiah. The Lord has chosen Cyrus to be king. He has appointed him to conquer nations. He sends him to strip kings of their power. The Lord will open the gates of cities for him. To Cyrus, the Lord says, I appoint you to help my servant Israel, the people that I have chosen. I have given you great honor, although you do not know me. I am the Lord. There is no other God. I will give you the strength you need, although you do not know me. I do this so that everyone from one end of the world to the other may know that I am the Lord and that there is no other God. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. As for Soil's song, give the Lord glory and honor. Give the Lord, Lord glory, glory and, and honor. honor. Sing to the Lord a new song. Sing to the Lord all your lands. Tell his glory among the nations, among all peoples, his wondrous deeds. Give the Lord, Lord glory, glory and, and honor. honor. For great is the Lord and highly to be praised. Awesome is he beyond all gods. For all the gods of the nations are things of naught, but the Lord made the heavens. Give the Lord's Lord, glory Lord, and Lord. honor. Worship the Lord in holy attire. Tremble before him all the earth. Say among the nations, the Lord is king. He governs the peoples with equity. Give the Lord glory and honor. A reading from the first letter of St. Paul to the Thessalonians. From Paul, Silas, and Timothy to the people of the church in Thessalonica who belong to God the Father and the Lord Jesus Christ, may grace and peace be yours. We always thank God for you all and always mention you in our prayers. 
for we remember before our God and Father how you put your faith into practice, how your love made you work so hard, and how your hope in our Lord Jesus Christ is firm. Our brothers, we know that God loves you and has chosen you to be his own. For we brought the good news to you, not with words only, but also with power and the Holy Spirit and with complete conviction of its truth. The word of the Lord. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. Shine like lights in the world as you hold on to the word of life. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. The Lord be with you. Your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Glory to thee, O Lord. The Pharisees went off and plotted how they might entrap Jesus in speech. They sent their disciples to him with the Herodians, saying, Teacher, we know that you are a truthful man, and that you teach the way of God in accordance with the truth. And you are not concerned with anyone's opinion, for you do not regard a person's status. Tell us then, what is your opinion? Is it lawful to pay census tax to Caesar or not? Knowing their malice, Jesus said, Why are you testing me, you hypocrites? Show me the coin that pays the, the census tax. Then they handed him a Roman coin. He said to them, Whose image is this and whose inscription? They replied, Caesar's. At that he said to them, Then repay to Caesar what belongs to Caesar, and to God what belongs to God. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. It's amazing how uh, quickly we learn uh, uh, things. Uh, and one of the things that we've learned is uh, um, if you want to disarm somebody, you butter them up. And a uh, little flattery gets you everywhere, they say. And so you butter them up with some compliments, and then you stick the knife in the juggler. Right. It's, uh, and that's what the Pharisees were doing here. Uh, so they uh, praise Jesus, you know, we know you're a man of integrity and, and all this. And uh, so what they're trying to demonstrate, because there's a crowd looking, looking on, and what they're trying to show is that they're not out to attack him. And, uh, and so the, um, and that their intentions were honorable. But uh, underneath the goal is to try and destroy uh, Jesus' credibility. Uh, so they give him a catch-22 situation where if he uh, says, uh, that it's okay to pay the tax, then the people are going to be disgruntled with it because they hated this tax. And, uh, and if he says, no, don't pay the tax, then he's in trouble with the Romans so, uh, for inciting uh, riots and, uh, and all that. So, um, so, uh, so that's their, their ultimate goal, is to draw, destroy Jesus in front of uh, the people's eyes. And the question is very craftily uh, put together. And, uh, so, and it makes it clear that it's a religious question because they say, is it lawful? So that means, the, um, does it accord with the law of Moses? The, uh, and so, is it lawful to give taxes? So this is uh, the poll tax. Um, it's not the custom tax. Um, they didn't. They paid the custom taxes, but they got some benefit from that because uh, that allowed trade, because they could import and export goods uh, with that. But this poll tax, it just went straight into Caesar's uh, coffers, and they got no benefit from it at all. And so they absolutely hated it, and uh, it uh, caused a lot of um, uprisings. And eventually, in AD 70. It, uh, it sparks the revolt, 
that happened uh, in AD 70. So they absolutely hated this tax. And so, uh, so Jesus, the, um, he says, uh, okay, show me a coin. And it's a, a denarius, which uh, was a day's pay. And uh, so the, um, and so one of the guys uh, takes a coin out of his pocket and gives it to Jesus and he holds it up and he says, and whose inscription is on this? And they said, Caesar's, because on the coin the, uh, was uh, uh, written the um, Tiberius Caesar, Augustus son of the divine Augustus, high priest. And that's totally blasphemous and it's also idolatrous because it had his image on it. And in the temple you weren't supposed to bring in uh, anything idolatrous. And so they were supposed to change any money they had, they were supposed to change it outside so you didn't actually bring in uh, the, uh, the coin with this blasphemous inscription and uh, the, uh, the head of uh, Caesar. And so you had to, you were supposed to change them into shekels, and, uh, which had no image uh, at all. And so, uh, so they show the hypocrisy that they're, uh, because they've got the coins on them. And uh, so, the, um, so he says, um, so whose image is this? And they say, Caesar's. And so he says, well, give back to Caesar what belongs to Caesar. And uh, what uh, belongs to God, you give back to God. And so, uh, so what he's uh, getting at there is that you have to decide which camp you're in. You can't uh, serve two masters, as he tells us in another gospel. And so the fact that they, uh, they have uh, the Roman coins showing the, that they're uh, uh, kind of interested in the, uh, the Roman system and so the, um, because um, the coins have the image of Caesar, so they belong to God, Caesar's kingdom. And so you give back to that. We belong to God's kingdom. We're made in his image. We bear God's image within us. And so the, the, uh, we're made in the icon of God. And so we're to give back to God the, uh, everything of ourselves. And so we have to choose which camp are we going to really follow. And so the question is, which camp are we really in? The response is, Lord, hear our prayer. Lord, hear our prayer. For Pope Francis, that he may continue to challenge us to open our hearts and heed the message of unity, marked by love and self-giving that bears the image of Christ. We pray, Lord, Lord hear us. our prayer. For an increase in tolerance in our nation and our world, and for a renewed commitment to promoting understanding of and respect for those who are different from us, we pray. Lord, Lord. hear us. For those who serve in mission territories, that God will renew their spirits and give them the resources they need to guide and help those whom they serve, we pray. Lord, hear us. Pope Francis said, human life is born of the love of God, grows in love, and tends towards love. May God's mercy heal the sins of war, violence, lies, and corruption around the world and restore love to all hearts, we pray. Lord, hear us. For the sick members of our community, may they find care, lasting health, and deliverance, especially Father Bill Moore, Thomas Gonzalez and his family, Beatrice Marquez, Ivan de Herrera, Antonio Velasco Jr., Josefina Argaring, Michael Angelo Brinas, Elenita and Carolina bring us, we pray. Lord, hear us. For our departed loved ones, may they rejoice in the gift of eternal rest and everlasting life, especially Charlie Siroki, Margaret Harling, and Donna Riggle, we pray. Lord, hear us.
And let us make our own special intention now to the Lord. Father, we offer you these prayers and all the prayers in our hearts through the intercession of your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, through your goodness we have this bread to offer, which earth has given and human hands have made, become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God forever. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, through your goodness we have this wine to offer, fruit of the vine and work of human hands, become our spiritual drink. Blessed be God And let us pray that your sacrifice of mine may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and the glory of his name, for our good and the good of all the Holy Church. And let us pray. Grant us, Lord, we pray, a sincere respect for your gifts, that through the purifying action of your grace we may be cleansed by the very mysteries we serve, through Christ our Lord. Amen. And the Lord be with you. And let us lift up our hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. And let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just our duty and our salvation at all times to acclaim you, O Lord, but in this time above all to laud you yet more gloriously when Christ our Passover has been sacrificed. For with the old order destroyed, a universe cast down is renewed, and integrity of life is restored to us in Christ. Therefore, overcome with paschal joy, every land, every people exults in your praise, and even the heavenly powers with all the angelic hosts sing together the unending hymn of your glory. Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, and all you have created rightly gives you praise. For through your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, by the power and working of the Holy Spirit, you give life to all things and make them holy, and you never cease to gather a people to yourself, so that from the rising of the sun to its setting, a pure sacrifice may be offered to your name. Therefore, O Lord, we humbly implore you by the same Spirit, graciously make holy these gifts we have brought to you for consecration, that they may become for us the body and blood of your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, at whose command we celebrate these mysteries. For on the night he was betrayed, he himself took bread and given you thanks. He said the blessing, he broke the bread, gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it. This is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice. Again, he gave you thanks and praise, gave the chalice to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. This is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and everlasting covenant, to be shed for you and for many, so that sins will be forgiven. Do this in memory of me. mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, O Lord, as we celebrate the memorial of the saving passion of your Son, his wondrous resurrection and ascension into heaven, and as we look forward to his second coming, we offer you in thanksgiving this holy and living sacrifice. Look, we pray upon the oblation of your church, and recognizing the sacri sacrificial victim by whose death you will to reconcile us to yourself, grant that we who are nourished by the body and blood of your Son and filled with his Holy Spirit may become one body, one spirit in Christ. 
May he make of us an eternal offering to you, so that we may obtain an inheritance with your elect, especially with the most blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with her husband, St. Joseph, with the apostles, the martyrs, and all your saints, on whose constant intercession we rely for help. May this sacrifice of our reconciliation, we pray, O Lord, advance the peace and salvation of all the world, be pleased to confirm in faith and charity your pilgrim church on earth with your servant Francis our Pope, Jose our Bishop, the order of bishops and all the clergy, and the entire people you have gained for your own. Listen graciously to the prayers of this family whom you have summoned before you. In your compassion, O merciful Father, gather to yourself all your children scattered throughout the world, to our departed brothers and sisters, and to all who are pleasing to you, at this passing from this life, give kind admittance to your kingdom. There we hope to enjoy forever the fullness of your glory through Christ our Lord, through whom you bestow on the world all that is good. For through him, with him, in him, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours, Almighty Father, forever and ever. Amen. And let us pray now in the words Jesus himself gave us. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, from every fear and evil, and grant us peace in our day. In your mercy, keep us free from sin. Protect us from all anxiety. We wait in joyful hope for the coming of our Saviour, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, you said to your apostles, I leave you peace, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and grant us the peace and unity of your kingdom, where you live forever and ever. Amen. And the peace of the Lord be with you all. Yes, So peace, peace, peace. Lamb of God, you, you take, take away, away the sins, sins of the world, the world. Have, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, grant us peace. And this is the Lamb of God who takes away the sin of the world. Happy are we who are called to his supper. Lord, I am not worthy you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. And may the body and blood of Christ bring us to everlasting life. Amen. let us pray. Grant, O Lord, we pray, that benefiting from the participation in heavenly things, we may be helped by what you give in this present age, and prepared for the gifts that are eternal, through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. So there was a guy sitting in the movies, and uh, he looked uh, around, and next to him uh, was a bear. And so he was quite surprised, and he said to the bear, what are you doing here? And the bear says, well, I really enjoyed the book, so I wanted to see what the film was like. <laughs> so let us ask the Lord to bless us now, be with us, and to be especially mindful of our families and friends. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. And the Mass is ended. Let's go forth in peace to love and serve the Lord. Thanks be to God. Thank you.